Hey, my name is Liska Nidis. I'm a personal trainer here in New York City. I'm a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu too. So today I'm going to talk about the sit-ups. Do sit-ups do really help you to lose the fat in your stomach? Well, in the other video I already explained to you how to induce your body to go after the fat and turn it into energy, right? It's about duration and not intensity. In the case with the sit-ups, if you keep doing a lot of sit-ups or crunches or planks or a Russian twist, you know, for, by duration, yes, you're inducing your body to go after the fat and turn it to energy for you to keep moving. But doesn't mean that it's going exactly to that area that you're moving, you know? Doesn't mean that because you're doing this movement that you're exactly going to lose the fatness here. No, it means that you're going to get those muscles stronger as you're giving them a little bit of resistance. But your body can go after the fat in any part of your body. It doesn't, it's not specifically where you want so why not doing sit-ups, right? You're gonna keep losing fat, promoting that exchange if you eat right. I always say that you have to eat clean, you have to eat right, and uh, and you're gonna promote that exchange. You're gonna lose fat and you're gonna gain muscle mass. But if you already kind of like you don't have too much fat in your stomach, or you wanna lose fat and you wanna start getting your six pack and see those muscles there on your stomach, you have to go for intensity. The best way for you to gain uh, muscle mass is when you put your muscle in the most lengthened position and then contract. In the case in the gym, I like to do the inclined sit up, then put my feet up, my body is all the way down, and then I go up and down, focus only on the muscles I want to work out. At home, I have the stability ball because this really ha helps me put my back more extended and then my muscles of my stomach more extended, as you're going to see now. You see how I'm lower here and my muscles are almost completely extended, right? And now I'm going to go up and go down. On my way up, my way up I'm going to exhale. So one thing that you have to be careful with. A lot of people do sit-ups and they use the momentum, they use the muscles on the back, they use their arms to help. No, you have to try to do the exercise only with these muscles that you want to work. A good way for doing it is keeping your arms stretched like this. Try to put your shoulder blades together here on the back and then you go all the way up. And then control your movement on the way down because this is one of the most important moments to, to for gaining uh, muscle mass, right? So go up and come back slowly. Go up, come back slowly. And this is the same for the side, sideways sit-up that you can do at the gym in different ways and here you can do with the stability ball too. You can see that I'm already in a very extended position for the muscles I want to work, right? And then I'm going to go up. And you can see, I'm doing all the job only with these muscles here, nothing else. So when you start working like this and putting them in a very lengthened position, the muscles, and then contracting it, after you are able to do three sets of 15, right? Three sets of uh, 15 is pretty good. You can start putting uh, some weights on. You can use like a, a plate here on your chest for the sit-ups or the dumbbells for here on the side, right? But always try to focus on the complete movement and only working all those muscles that you want to gain a better uh, muscle mass, all right? So I hope I was clear enough. I hope you liked the video and I hope I see you next time.